Hi, this is Noah, and welcome to Noah Tech Info. Now, before I begin with this tutorial, I would like to say welcome back. I'm back. Welcome back to the channel after a couple of months. And yeah, I'm back. So you're probably asking why am I not? Well, why have, why have I been away for so long? This is because of the COVID pandemic, and I had to carry on with all my work and things due to lockdown, self isolating, and stuff like that. So I could not make any videos, but I'm finally back. And uh, I saw all these lovely comments I've been seeing very recently, and uh, ever since I saw those, I just thought, well, my fans need me. <laughs> so I thought I might make some videos, if you know what I mean. So, welcome back. I'm Noah Tokenfo. Let's begin this tutorial. Okay, so in this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how, or I'll be teaching you how to make your Windows 8.1 PC faster. Now, note there are many, many other videos on this, but I guess you've kind of come to the right place for this channel, as I will be going through it step by step. Okay, so the first um, step we're going to do to speed up your PC is to go and do a disk cleanup. So what we're going to do, we are going to go into our file explorer. And we are going to choose, we are going to right click our local disk. You can have many in this case, but I only have one. And you are going to click properties. And here you will see a button see called disk cleanup. And we are going to click this button here. So it's now going to scan your drive for any recycling bin well, any files left in the recycling bin, temporary files, etc, etc. So we shall wait for this to scan. Now, I'm going to note now, mine may not be very successful, but that's only because this is a virtual machine and it's very basic. But in your case, it could be, you know, 700 gig gigabytes of, of stuff left on your PC. And as you can see here, all of the files. Now, as you can see, I barely have anything. However, I would highly recommend you collect the majority of the, the tick the majority of these, except for uh, setup log files. You can definitely tick the recycling bin, thumbnails, temporary files you won't need, and stuff like that. But just do not click this one, and don't click this one, because I would not recommend it. And now we're going to click on clean up system files. Now it is also worth mentioning that you do have administrative powers on this PC because if you do not you will not be able to po to perform this step and maybe a couple of other steps I'm about to take you through. But if you do have administrator access to your PC you may carry on with this tutorial. Otherwise please skip this uh, part. Okay, and now it has also scanned all the system files seen on your uh, system. So once again, select everything that you have selected, but now it's some extra things. Make sure to leave out these two. And now we will click OK, and it's about to start the disk cleanup process. Now this may take some time, depending on how many files you have got on your system, but mine was pretty quick, as I've only had to clean about 130 megabytes of storage. But in your case, it could be from about 10 gigabytes to 100 gigabytes, depending on how much junk is left on your PC. Just let this clean.
Okay, and now we shall move on to the next step. And this is to clean temporary files. Now, we will go over with the first step of this second step, as there are two temporary file folders. So our first one we're going to access is just the standard temp folder. In order to access this, we are going to do Windows key, that's the four square button on the bottom left hand side of your computer, which I'm pretty sure you know. So hold down Windows key and, and simultaneously you press down the letter R. And as you can see, you will get the run window here. Or you can just go into start and type in run, but we'll just go with this as it's a quicker way. And so you're going to type in T E M P for temp and click on OK. As you can see, it will show all of all of your temporary files. Obviously, I do not have that many, as this is just a very basic virtual machine, but in your case you can have several hundred of these folders and files that need to be removed. So what we're going to do, we are going to do control A for select all, and we're going to hit the delete key. You'll need to continue for all current items. Make sure you skip any files that will not be allowed to be deleted. And close this. And now we will do the same thing again, which is Windows key and simultaneously R. So now we will do percentage T E M P percentage and click on OK. And now this will show you the other temporary files. Once again, they have several of these. I just have one, just leads down nice and quickly, and we should be good to go. And now for the third step, and this is cleaning your prefetch folder. Now your prefetch folder will also have many temporary files, except this will store far more, as I've just seen. And it's, you know, it's quite a lot of files to store on your computer, and we'll be slowing it down quite a bit. So it's a good thing to clean that. So once again, Windows key, and simultaneously press letter R. And now we're going to type in prefetch, one word, P-R-E-F-E-T-C-H and click on OK. And as you can see, we have several prefetch files in here that we do not need on our system. So once again, we're going to do Control A and hit the delete key. And as you can see, the folder is now empty and clean. Another way of also speeding up your computer is to change your startup programs to disabled. Now, you may have seen that whenever you start up your computer, you may see something like Spotify loading in, or something like your cooling app, or anything. And this is going to impact your BIOS boot time, but also slow down your computer. So what we're going to do now, we're now going to do the Task Manager shortcut, which is Control, Shift, and Escape, which you'll once again find on the, on the very left-hand side of your keyboard and to make sure these are all whole held down simultaneously. And this will bring up the task manager. And if your task manager does look like this, just make sure to click on more details. Now we will go to the startup bar. And as you can see, I have one program, which is VMware Tools Service. You can then disable this. And as you can see, your startup impact is rather high. But when we stop this, it is now going to go to none, as it will not impact the startup of your computer. So we can now close this off. And one final way to, co to clean up your computer with Windows 8.1 is to go into the recycling bin and clear all of the temporary files that you have just deleted. So Control A and hit the delete key, and you will permanently delete every single file in your recycling bin. Make sure you use administrative powers. And that's it. Your system is now completely clean. May not look that much different from mine, but on yours you may see a small difference. 
In order to confirm that difference, just make sure you restart your computer. Well, once you have restarted and logged back in, you should be good to go. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do like this video. If you thought it, if you found it very helpful, you can please comment on this video and make another video request or ask more questions about this video. And if you found it really helpful and you think someone else may find it helpful, please do share it with other people. I will very much appreciate that. Anyway, this was Noah Taken Foe. I'm Noah. Thank you very much for watching.